In this module, we shall discuss some more properties of cyclic groups. Let's state our theorem. If order of A equal to N, then the uh, cyclic group generated by A raised to power K is equal to cyclic group generated by GCD of N and K. The second part is order of A K equal to N over GCD of N and K. One can easily prove part 1. Now we prove part 2. To prove the statement order of A K equal to N over GCD of N K, we first prove a little lemma. If D divides N, which is equal to order of A, then order of A raised to power D would be N over D. Now we prove this lemma. Let N equal to DQ for some integer Q. Then we take the power N of A that will be AD raised to power Q. And we shall get because order of A is N and we shall get A N equal to E. So in this way order of A D is less than equal to Q. If I greater than 0 less than Q then D I would be greater than 0 less than D Q we are multiplying on all the sides by d and d is some non-negative number d is the divisor and uh, that is some positive integer and dq we have equal to n which is order of a so in this way we obtain a d raised to power i which is not e an identity Hence, order of AD equal to Q, which is N over D as required. Now we prove that order of AK is equal to N over GCD of NK. Let G D be the GCD of NK, then we have order of a k equal to order of cyclic group generated by a k by corollary 1 which is equal to order of cyclic group generated by a raised to power d this is by part 1 of the theorem 1 that we stated in uh, previous slides which is equal to order of the element a d again by a corollary 1 which is equal to n over d by above lemma which we have established in previous slide this concludes the proof now we are considering an example suppose g be a group which is generated by a and order of a equal to 30 Find order of A raised to power 21 and find the cyclic group generated by A raised to power 21. By theorem 1, order of A raised to power 21 equal to 30 which is the order of A over GCD of 30 and 21 and GCD of 30 and 21 is 3 and we shall get 30 over 3 which is equal to 10. So it means that the cyclic group generated by A raised to power 21 has 10 elements. Now we also know that by previous results cyclic group generated by A21 equal to 
cyclic group generated by 3 3 is the gcd of 21 and 30 and the first part of the theorem 1 states that these are equal now we see that what are the elements in the group generated by a cube those are a raised to power 3 and a raised to power 3 square which is a raised to power 6 a cube raised to power 3 which is a raised to power 9 and similarly we shall proceed further and we shall get a raised to power 27 and finally we get e the identity all the powers of a cube and a cube raised to power 10 is a raised to power 30 which is equal to e